hello everyone and welcome to the blue blouse channel if you're new here i welcome you and if you're old i welcome you same way because without you my youtube door would be closed on your screen you've seen a busted version of blue blouse in a red blouse if you are confused as to what is happening here i had braids in my hair for six weeks namely senegalese twists or rope twists and now i have pulled them out do you remember the little warning that i gave you last video that when you have braids this size you do not take them down in the same day and you do not wash it the same day and you do not detangle it the same day you can take those days consecutively or you can space it out over a week or even two weeks i'm going to show you what i did i am going to now walk you through some of the ways with which i detangle my hair after i pull it out hi this is a demonstration of how i loosened the extensions from my hair so i made sure that i picked a light color braid so that you can see what i'm doing so when i pulled the extensions out of my hair a week ago i got the ends and i unraveled it basically in the opposite direction of the twist just like that so i would unravel unravel it's pretty simple so i would unravel it like that and basically slide it out and that would be it so during the week there are several ways that i can do it i can start with taking the linen balls from all the places that I know are going to have it. It is usually the front, the sides, and the nape, especially the nape, that will carry the linen balls. As you can see, here is loose compared to the rest of the pattern that is going on here. I have already finger detangled just along here to get the linen balls out and just along here around the back so that's the first thing i do vulnerable places get rid of the link balls from there i could have done it a second way we all know the trick in the um the natural hair community by the way this is the end of my durag that you can put your hair like this ignore the rest of the thing we all know this trick where we do our hair like this and we gather it into a puff ball but that is not the part that gets my hair detangled. When I have my hair like this, I actually wet it just enough, not soaking wet. And I actually take the comb and I do like this. And it's usually out. You understand me? So I take my comb and I do like that. Or this is my soft bristle brush that was supposed to be a shoe polish brush and I just didn't use it for that I realized that it is very soft so every time I pull my hair up in a puff I wet it a little and I brush the roots you would say well that is only brushing the front actually it is getting from at least here to here the middle is, middle is another business after I do that for an entire week the front part will be combed out you see just that little amount of brushing now for the body of the hair i dampen my hair a little bit and i can take my time and brush it out and it can even take me you see how this part starts to lose up remember this had a pattern you know remember this was patterned like this i can actually do like this i saw my cousin do this um when she pulled out her fine plait as a matter of fact she never use a comb. She just take the brush and she just brush out the, all the plaits. So you can brush out your hair like that. And the ends, mm, the ends are not hard to control. You just, you don't even have to separate them. Just go like this and brush them. And boom, it's out just like that. That is one way to detangle a hair. But because you see, I am lazy. Let me tell you what I do. I take 
two wash cycles and let the water do all the work for me. So for today's wash day, I'm going to use the Aussie Kids Moist Shampoo. My niece left this behind. Yeah, my niece came here on holiday. She left this behind. You know, because airport. And I'm going to use the curly conditioner. Same Aussie Kids. Well, whether it's kids or adults, it's neither here nor there. And I have a review on the regular version of this. Right? So I'm going to be using this for the first time. I assume that's the same thing as the other one. As a matter of fact, let me smell it and look at it. Oh, this is a little bit different. I think the shampoo, the regular shampoo has a pretty finish. This has a little um, clear slimy thing to it. it. Smells like mango. I don't like it. Let me see what the conditioner look like. Basically has the same texture as a three minute um, miracle thingy, just a little softer, as you would imagine. I am back from shampooing my hair with this. It is pretty gentle, as far as I can tell. It's not stripping on the first and only shampoo that I did. So by the way, I usually wash my hair one week apart. On wash number one, I am not usually pressed about getting my hair to be really really clean as in strips clean and i notice with with um squeaky squeaky clean hair when it is wet is it is not nice to detangle it's like how my hair is falling down now falling down and you know having a little body to it when i clarify my hair my hair is literally like a brillo pad like my hair is up like this and it reverts like a brillo pad not only looks like one, but feels like one too. Do what I do every other wash day. Slather one bag of conditioner in my hair. You see? Just by pulling the conditioner through my hair like that. My hair starts to loosen up. So that is my shortcut. And I just press my thumb through it. <clears throat> it's essentially finger detangling, but not finger detangling all the way. So I basically just take the hair and I spread it. And in a moment like this, after I've opened up the hair, I just do like this with the brush. You will see that the ends, they aren't quite, you know, they aren't quite loosened. I just take my hand and I do like this and I'm out. So I will continue to do sections like this and for the entire week, I just keep brushing my hair until it's all out even after wash day when my hair is dry i keep up the brushing routine until i know i have the patience to actually sit down and detangle with a comb but not just any comb you'll see i let the conditioner sit in my hair i actually slathered some deep conditioner on top of the conditioner sitting in my hair and this is me from the future again so the day after that i shampooed my hair i went to work in those same twists dry looking busted dull everything and when i came home the next day my hair was still pretty much wet because i had put a lot of leave-in conditioner in my hair uh, for some reason i'm lacking moisturizers now especially the zimmy leave-in conditioner i'm liking that one because i find that it holds water in the right way and it mixes with oils in the right way and I was able to detangle water was still in my hair the next day which is wild my hair is usually dry overnight I washed my hair in the evening twisted it wore it that same night because I was on night shift and I came off in the morning and I slept all day 
and then I uh, took my time and I detangled with my jumbo comb. This is my jumbo comb that I use to detangle. So I use this to detangle the twists and I haven't detangled my hair from the day after wash day. I've been just putting my hair up in whatever this updo is and twisting it back up at night, putting the bonnet on and repeating the same steps. That's pretty much all I did. And my hair is not gonna be detangled again until another six weeks or eight weeks when I take braids out of my hair you're gonna see the color that i pick next it's the same braid i'm gonna give you a spoiler alert it's the same braids just different length more hair and a nice color you're gonna see it in an upcoming video as a matter of fact i'll be braiding my hair tomorrow so you will see that video eventually it's bye from the blue blouse channel see you again next time and be sure to like share comment and subscribe